Hello and welcome to this bug and cat in video, where we are going to be looking at the hints, clues and evidence of Adrian Agress being a senti monster. Since the introduction of the Peacock Miraculous and the knowledge of its superpower to create senti monsters, the fear of Adrian Agress being a senti monster entered the fandom. This video is going to focus mainly on Adrian, but it's also going to touch on both Felix and Kagami being senti monsters. Apparently season 5 is being aired and the evidence seems to be popping up, but what if the evidence has been planted since season 1? Let's go back to the beginning to see what we can find. Now when season 1 was written and released, there was no guarantee that the show would be popular enough to have another season, let alone 5. So there is very little plot and arcs in season 1, but there is evidence of Adrian being a senti monster. So let's take a look at it. The first clue we get is Adrian's feather allergy, which is first mentioned in the episode Mr. Pigeon. I'm allergic to feathers. It's not until season 2 that we learn that the Peacock Miraculous Holder uses a feather from the fan to create an amok. So it is suggested Adrian is allergic to feathers because he was created from one. Sorry, I'm allergic to feathers. <gasps> also in this episode, we get to see the Fountain du Palmer, an actual real life fountain in Paris, which we saw the bottom of in Dark Cupid. We get to see the top. In real life, at the top of the column is the Statue of Victory, carrying the laurels of victory. Miraculous has changed this fountain top from being Victory holding the laurels in each hand to a child holding two rings above their head. Representing that when Adrian gets hold of the Grand de Vanelli rings, the twin rings, he will be free. Now in the episode Simon Says, we get another clue to Adrian's origins with a glimpse of Gabrielle's office. I am seeing the painting of Emily, which is based off Gustav Glimp's extraordinary portrait of Adele Blutch Bayer, also known as a woman in gold. Depending on your source, the lady in the original painting was unable to have children, so it is hinting that Emily was unable to have children. Also during this episode, we have our conversation between Ladybug and Gabrielle where Ladybug is looking at the portraits of Adrian, and Gabriel goes on to describe Adrian as perfect. Isn't he flawless? Adrian, my son, he's the image of perfection, don't you think? Perfect being used to describe senti monsters in later episodes. Perfect! Now, during the episode Ladybug and Cat Noir Origins, when Adrian tells his dad he wants to go to school like everyone else, we get the reply, I will not have you outside in that dangerous world because you are not like everyone else. You are my son. Giving us a hint that Adrian is not like everybody else. Because you are not like everyone else. You are my son. Our season 1 final, Volpina, gives us the first hint that Emily used the Peacock Miraculous. But when Adrian and Plague are in the safe, we see Emily's picture next to a camouflaged Peacock Miraculous, hinting that she used it. Moving on to season 2, the episode Gorilla introduces us to the cologne Adrian the Fragrance. This ad has feathers floating above and around Adrian, linking him to being part feather. We see feathers in other advertising with Adrian. We are introduced to Kagami during this season. During the New York special, Aeon sees Adrian as human because he was made to be human. Now let's move on to season 3. During the episode Feast, we learn that the holder of the Peacock Miraculous can sense an amok. We also learn that Tamo has a link to the Miraculous, as well as the Bourgeois. During the episode Onyi-chan, when Kagami is turned into Onyi-chan, she says her and Adrian were made for each other. You and I were made for each other, Adrian. She also calls him Perfection Personified and whacks Cat Noir into the Adrian Perfume ad featuring a feather. You curse it, Cat! Adrian is Perfection Personified! He's the only one who's worthy of me! And the only one I will ever love! What? <laughs> Cat Blanc is divided in evidence. Cat Noir resists the Akuma until Hawk Moth commands him to obey, but then Cat Blanc zaps out Hawk Moth and Ladybug. Erasing one of the rings from existence. It is unconfirmed whether Emily's rings survived through the ever mark during the destruction of Paris. Season 3 also introduces Felix. Now the episode title Felix gives us another clue. Season 1 and 2, all the episode titles were named after the Kumatized villain, except for the final Mayura, who was just named after a villain. Season 3 was a mix of Akumatized villains and senti monster names. At first glance, it seems like the episode is named after the villain, because Felix appears as a villain, willing to work with Hawkmoth. But what if it's in line with Reflected Doll and Ladybug, named after a senti monster? While Gabriel cleans the Grand de Vanelli twin rings, we see them glisten. Gabriel's ring also glistens when he puts it on, hinting that there is something more to them. Felix also gives us the hint that Adrian always does what his father wants, because a senti monster must obey whatever their muck holder commands. 
You always do everything your father tells you to do. Also during this episode, we learn that Felix's father died along the same time as Emily's disappearance. I'm really sorry I didn't come to your dad's funeral. We know that Felix and Adrian are around the same age, and we also know that the holder of the Peacock Miraculous can only create one senti monster at a time. Multiple senti monsters can be active at once. They just need to have been created by different Peacock Miraculous holders. So Emily created Adrian and Colt created Felix. It took around 15 years for the internal wounds from using the broken Peacock Miraculous to put Emily into a coma. During the episode, Ladybug Mayura creates a senti monster in human form. This is a significant clue that senti monsters can have human appearance. The senti ladybug is undistinguishable from the real ladybug. Cat Noir describes her as perfect, the term often used to describe Adrian. We also learn that senti monsters have no choice but to follow orders from whoever holds the object they are marketing. During this episode, we learn that wearing a broken peacock miraculous breaks its wear. And Gabriel never wants that to happen again with our view going to the family portrait, which Emily is in. Letting us know that Emily used the broken peacock maracas and that is why she is now in a coma. During the episode Heart Hunter, Kagami mentions again her and Adrian are made for each other and they are so alike. But Adrian and I are made for each other. We're so alike. Miraculous Worlds movie, Shanghai, where we hear Gabrielle talk that this plan has been being in motion for 15 years. And, you know, Adrian's around 15. What I started 15 years ago, I will finish tomorrow. At last. During season four, more evidence appears. At the beginning of the episode, Truth, Gabriel describes the fixed peacock miraculous as perfect. The word he describes Adrian as. It's perfect. The episode Gabriel Grass points to Felix being a Santa monster. During the car ride to the event, Felix is watching a video on the ladybug, gaining information how the miraculous work. So then he can put the pieces together to discover Shadow Moth's true identity. When a Shadow Moth creates Santa Gabriel, he describes it as perfect. Later in the episode, we get more clues to Felix being a senti monster when Gabriel threatens to destroy Felix's life. All he needs to do is snap his fingers to make him disappear from here. Because all the peacock miraculous holder needs to do is snap their fingers to make a senti monster disappear. During the episode, Megalite, the senti monster theory really kicked off with the end scene where Gabriel tells Adrian to go to his room. And then we get our first look of Gabriel twisting his wedding ring for the first time while giving Adrian a command. Showing us that Adrian and Mark is in the twin rings. We see in the episode of Dagami that Senti monsters are able to transform with miraculouses. Senti Nino is able to turn into Senti Carapace. So Adrian being a Senti monster is able to use the cat miraculous and transform into Cat Noir. Wishmaker gives us more evidence. Adrian is unable to think of what he would like to do, as he has always been told what to do. His inner tune is muffled by someone else playing a sad tune. We also see a blip in the background with Adrian fr the fragrance ad, when he says his father will decide for him. If I don't figure it out, my father will decide for me once again. Cat Noir tells Ladybug that he can't remember his childhood dream. Which leads to him contemplating Wishmaker's offer to reveal it to him. When he is hit by Wishmaker, we see a vision of a baby, Adrian in a crib, where his mother has blue eyes, but we know she has green eyes. She's got, got your eyes. eyes. Oh. Oh. Mayuru and Argos' eyes change when they are transformed by the Peacock Miraculous. Another clue that the Peacock Miraculous was involved in Adrian's creation. We then hear that Adrian's childhood dream was to be whatever his parents wanted him to be. Again, the senti monster must do as their mark holder asks. The episode Ephemeral, the hundredth episode of the show, was packed full of senti monster evidence. It starts off with Gabriel and Adrian in the car. Gabriel rubs his ring to give Adrian command, one being that he's not to leave the venue until the press conference is over. Adrian then does not make an excuse to leave the venue while the kuma attack is taking place. Once Gabriel jumps to conclusions and discovers that Adrian is Cat Noir, the next day he commands Adrian to wake up and follow him which Adrian does obediently. He then twists the spot where his ring would be when he's transformed into Shadow Moth, commanding Adrian to hand over the Cat Miraculous. He was resisting up into this, and then he just hands it over. The season four two-part final once again is filled with senti monster evidence. During the dodgeball game, while Marinette and Adrian are in timeout, Adrian talks to Marinette about having an invisible force holding him back. This invisible force being his inability to go against his amok holder. Because Gabriel's plan is risky, he says to Natalie, 
but he is entrusting her with his wife's ring and his son, letting us know the Amak is in the room. I'm trusting you with my wife's ring and my son. When they switch places, Felix has figured out about senti monsters and says to Adrian that he cannot disobey his father, but he can. Even the call Adrian gets from Kagami lets us know that Adrian is only good at doing what people tell him to do. Felix goes exploring the repository and is shocked to find Emily chilling down there. He is afraid because if she's still alive, then his father could be alive too. This episode gives us some more evidence when Felix comes back up from the repository. Felix, as Adrian, says he doesn't want to go, and Gabriel goes to tell Adrian to get in the car, but discovers he has no power over Adrian as he is no longer wearing the ring. Felix says Adrian the notice Natalie is wearing the ring. When she tells him to get into the car, he complies. We get the hint that Felix is a senti monster because he is only interested in the peacock miraculous. And not the butterfly miraculous. Another hint that Felix is a senti monster is when Pegabug drops the senti monsters strike back into the sun, he says sorry to the senti monsters. I'm sorry. Felix also doesn't just take the miraculous from Ladybug for himself. He only allows Gabriel to take them after he has received the peacock miraculous in exchange. Felix has a lot of relief and comfort when he's on the train with the peacock miraculous, knowing that his and Adrian's existence is safe. So if you thought things were heating up in Season 4, well it gets a lot hotter in Season 5. We get more evidence in the first episode of Season 5, when Monarch is given a flash drive from Natalie to place in the past so the Peacock Miraculous could be fixed before Emily uses it. We get to see the moment Gabrielle gives the Peacock Miraculous back to Emily, asking if she's ready. Ready to go create a senti monster. We can also see that the Miraculous is already broken before she uses it. We also get a little bit of Felix Senti Monster evidence at the end of Multiplication. After the end card, we see Felix meet Dusu for the first time. When Dusu asks if Felix is the new holder, Felix replies that he is much more than that. Oh, I am much more than that, Dusu. We get the hint that Kagami is also a senti monster. In Perfection, Kagami tells Marinette that she has always had the feeling she needed to be the perfect person. At the end of Perfection, Tomo storms into Gabriel's office angrily that he has endangered Kagami by sending a mega Akuma into her ring. He did send an Akuma into her ring back in repose, but that ring was black, not silver. For if Kagami hadn't have broken out of their communization herself, then Ladybug and Cat Noir would have had to have break the ring, releasing the Amak at the same time, killing Kagami. We also get a hint that Kagami is a senti monster in the episode Protection. Gabrielle and Tomo both want their children to be together. Tomo says that they are made for each other. And Gabrielle adds, Perfection calls for perfection. Mo states to Gabrielle that Kagami is perfect and that she doesn't need her to control her. Gabrielle tells Adrian that he and Kagami are of the same design. We also get some Adrian sent him onto evidence when Gabriel forbids Adrian from having any relationship with Marinette. Lucky Adrian goes talks to Natalie about this, and she tells Adrian he is free to love whoever he wants. When Gabrielle sees Adrian with Marinette, he goes to her Natalie and says, that she gave him a counter order. Natalie informs Gabrielle that the power he has over Adrian doesn't go that far. We see Gabrielle look at Emily's ring, Natalie still wearing, reminding us that the amok is in both rings. Adoration gives us heavy senti monster evidence. After Marinette tells Adrian she loves him, they go to kiss and Adrian is stopped by Gabrielle giving him a no command. He doesn't know why he feels weird and walks away. During the episode of Motion, there are loads of senti monster evidence. Before Felix goes a little crazy, he is pretending to be Adrian again. He goes to kiss Kagami's hand, only to sense the Amakin. When Felix and Kagami go to open the ball, Felix suggests to Kagami that she leave. When she says no, Felix points out that she is not as free as she thinks. Once Argos snaps away Gabriel so he can no longer control anyone, he snaps away to Mo and tells Kagami now she is truly free. We learn that Argos wants to make a wish where no one is under anyone's control anymore. No one would be excluded like he was. We get the hint that Adrian is a senti monster when Argos tells Adrian he created a better world. A world where Adrian is free. Free from his parents. He doesn't say just his father because he knows Emily is still alive but in a coma. 
During the flashback, we learn that Argos created Red Moon to create him from his uncle's grasp so he could finally be free. Argos tells Kagami and Adrian that he has been waiting for weeks for the perfect opportunity to set them both free. To set them all free. More evidence that Felix is a senti monster. Before Argos snaps Red Moon out of existence, he asks her for forgiveness and calls her his friend and sister. You forgive me, my friend, my sister. I release you from existence. <laughs> At the end of the episode, Gabriel is rubbing his ring again, giving Adrian the command not to talk to him about Marinette ever again. In the episode Pretension, Gabriel tells Adrian to go to his room and leave him and Marinette to talk alone. Adrian obeys and goes to his bedroom, but once there, he wants to go back down and be with Marinette, and he finds himself unable to move from his bedroom because he cannot disobey his father. After Argos kidnaps Kagami to talk to her, he tells her that he felt that he and her were the same. He is not there to return her to her mother, but to set her free from her. He also tells Kagami that his father was a thousand times worse than her mother, meaning that Felix was controlled by his father. When Kagami asks why, when he has the miraculous of the peacock, he doesn't just create a senti monster to get them out of there. He goes on to say that he refuses to create a being only to manipulate, control, or abuse them, and end up destroying them. Kagami asks if he is talking about himself, to which he replies, I'm talking about us. When Kagami cuts the string of the bow, Tomo later learns that the plan failed because her daughter is no longer under the control she thinks she is. She then wants a ring back from her so she can control her. Even the end card shows Kagami and Adrian as puppets for their parents. Felix somehow is able to give Kagami back her ring through the Amakan side. So the last episode to be aired at the time of this recording is Revelation. Revelation gives us another little clue. Natalie takes a photo of the Grand Divinelli ring she is wearing and sends it to Hoxha, as the ring is one of Gabriel's secrets. So are you convinced? Is there any evidence I forgot to add? Or what evidence do you have to disprove them from being senti monsters? Let me know in the comments. I then catch him out. I could have done this on my own. But we're the cat and bug team, remember? Bug and cat team, you mean. 